We got our new memory verse with Tony. What up? It's a long one, but we got this. You got this. Let's go. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 to 12. 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 Two people are better than one. Working together, they can get more done. If one person falls, the other helps him up. But if you're alone, then you are stuck. If two lie down together, they will keep warm. But a person alone can't face the storm. Me alone can be beat by the enemy. But if we're together, we can defend me. A rope with three strings is hard to break. So faith-filled friendships we must make. A rope with three strings is hard to break. So faith-filled friendships we must make. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 to 12. 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 Two people are better than one. Working together, they can get more done. If one person falls, the other helps him up. But if you're alone, then you are stuck. If two lie down together, they will keep warm. But a person alone can't face the storm. Me alone can be beat by the enemy. But if we're together, we can defend me. A rope with with three three strings strings is hard to break. So faith-filled friendships we must make. A rope with three strings is hard to break. That's right. So faith-filled friendships we must make. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 to 12. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 to 12. A rope with three strings is hard to break. So faith-filled friendships we must make. What up? Hi, Jump. It's so great to see you. My name's Samara and I'm from the Belmont campus. Now, who can tell me the name of our series at the moment? That's right, Faith-Filled Friendships. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we have looked at why you need a friend, that you and I were not designed to do life alone. God created us to have friends. And when we looked at what it means to be a faith-filled friend, not just a good friend, but a faith-filled friend, one that believes for, prays for, and encourages your friends. Now, the idea that I want to focus on today is that faith-filled friendships include God. Everyone say after me, faith-filled friendships include God. Now, in our memory verse, it says in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Now, the third strand in the cord is God. Godly friendships do not happen without God involved. Today, I want to have a look at three friends in the Bible. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And their story can be found in the book of Daniel. These three friends live in a place called Babylon. Everyone say Babylon. Babylon. And living under the rule of a king called Nebuchadnezzar. We're going to call him King Neb. Everyone say King Neb. Now, King Neb. He did not love God and he made a rule that as soon as they heard the sound of the certain musical instruments, they were to bow down and worship a golden statue of himself. The punishment, if you didn't do this, was to be thrown into a fiery furnace. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego loved and followed God and they refused to bow down to the statue. And they are brought before King Neb. And this is what they say to King Neb when he asks them why they would not bow down to his statue. And we read this in Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, We want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Now, these three friends chose to keep God at the center of their friendship. 
If we go back to our memory verse where it says that a cord of three strands is not quickly broken, it meant that for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, because they had God at the center of their friendship, it meant that they could stand strong together and nothing that King Neb could say or do would hurt them because they weren't friends on their own. They had a friendship with God at the center. Now, it didn't just stop there for these friends. They didn't just tell King Neb no. They declared their faith in God, that he would be able to deliver them and keep them safe, even if they were thrown into the furnace. Now, what did faith-filled friendships with God at the center look like for us? Well, jump. It looks like friends who pray for you if you go through hard things, who will come alongside you and point you back to Jesus in this way, even if maybe you don't want it or can't see it. It looks like friends who will be honest with you and tell you if you're not doing something that would please God. They won't encourage you to talk badly about other people or to be rude to your parents or teachers. They will tell you to be respectful, to include other people when you play at lunchtime or recess. It will also be a friendship that encourages you in your faith, encourages you to read your Bible and to pray and come to church. For Shadrach and Abednego and Meshach, it meant that they had friends to stand with them against King Neb that Shadrach has Meshach and Abednego supporting him, Meshach has Shadrach and Abednego supporting him, and Abednego has Shadrach and Meshach supporting him to stay strong in their faith in God. Is this what your friendships look like, Jump? Or do your friendships, do you not have people praying for you or maybe encourage you to do bad things like talk badly about other people or be rude? Or maybe they don't see the value in reading your Bible or encourage you to go to church. Now, we have learned over the past few weeks that we are made to be in community, that we are not meant to do life on our own. But this community and these friendships that we are designed for are meant to be ones with God at the center. Now, before we go into our connect groups, I would love to pray. So can I get every head bowed and eyes closed and hands raised as if you were receiving something? Dear God, I thank you that you love each and every single one of our kids. I thank you, God, that we were not created to do life on our own and we were created to do life in godly community and friendships. I pray, God, that you would give us the courage and strength to be good godly friends and that you would bring godly friendships into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, Jump!